Welcome back in. Nestled within the picturesque landscape of San Francisco, the gardens of Golden Gate Park seamlessly blend lush greenery with historical significance. They captivate more than a million visitors each year. And here to tell us more about the remarkable gardens is the Director of Programs and Partnerships, Jamie Chan. Hey, Jamie, thanks for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. We're so excited to learn about this. I saw the words flower piano, and I said we have got to have them on to explain all about this. But first, I want to know about the gardens in general. Tell us what they are and sure. how Go. The gardens of Golden Gate Park are actually three gardens. Uh, within them is the Conservatory of Flowers, the Japanese Tea Garden, and the San Francisco Botanical Garden, where you're going to find our Flower Piano Festival. Wonderful. We offer programs all year long, uh, but in general, people just come and enjoy our beautiful gardens, right? Uh, locals like myself and people from uh, faraway places who are, you know, becoming uh, tour visitors of San Francisco. Yeah, wonderful. So, what are the differences if you have three gardens? Mm -hmm. What, like, what can people expect in each? One. Sure. The Conservatory of Flowers is actually our Victorian uh, glass house. So we oh. have tropical plants there. All year long, there's something to learn. Things are constantly in bloom. And you can learn about stories as they relate to lots of different um, ethnic and regional cultures. So I learn a lot when I go to the conservatory all the time. It's like traveling around the world. The Japanese Tea Garden is a really historic site. It tells the story mm -hmm. about the Japanese Americans, um, their cultural values, and the aesthetic of Japanese gardening. So wow. people can enjoy a nice cup of green tea, some mochi, and stroll our beautiful gardens and enjoy the atmosphere. In the SF Botanical Gardens, we have 55 acres and over 8,000 species of plants. People can say you're like walking around the world mm -hmm. and you visit our living museum. So you can visit different regional areas and learn about the plants that live there. It seems very immersive. You know, you say you can have a, a cup of mochi to go with, or whatever it is to go with it. Um, how do, how is that important to you guys to have things that are genuine to the the culture within the garden. Absolutely. At the Gardens of Golden Gate Park, we say we're the people's garden. And it's true. We really want our collections, our programs, and our exhibits to reflect the great diversity of the SF Bay Area. Mm -hmm. So when you come there, I think you get a little taste of what we are as San Franciscans and as Bay Area residents. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Um, so tell me about the flower piano. What is it? Why is it? And how people can see it? Oh, people need to come <laughs> to flower piano. So flower piano is our outdoor music festival. It runs from September 13th through 22nd, 10 days straight, we put 12 pianos, 12 wow. grand pianos tucked in the SF Botanical Gardens for concerts all day, every day. Wow, it's yeah. very cool. I, and we're seeing some video right now of concerts in the gardens, awesome. and it's just so pretty. I, this is reminding me, okay, you know, Bridgerton is so popular right oh, now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is reminding me of that. It just looks beautiful. And I'm sure it sounds great. So who performs there? Oh, we have performers from both international um, fame and local artisans. What's oh. so great about Flower Piano is that you can be the star too. So between our 90 plus performers, there are actually these sets where you can just come up and play on our piano. So you can hear um, uh, an improvised concert that might be your most magical event, or you can try your hands at playing Flower Piano too. Yeah, very yeah. cool, awesome. Nobody wants to hear my hands, but hopefully someone <laughs> with some talent. Um, so how, I mean, how did you get involved in this? It seems like you're the perfect person. You've got flowers on your outfit. I love to see it. So tell us what your background is and how, why you wanted to do this job. Oh, I love my job so much. Mm -hmm. I really get to bring programs to the people that I love, San Franciscans. I'm a fourth generation San Franciscan myself. Yeah. I grew up going to the botanical gardens, learning about the plants. And I'm a really big believer that when we're out in nature and we're enjoying the natural world, that we come to appreciate it better. So at the gardens, we believe we connect people to plants, the planet and each other and that really happens in the programs that we have just making a basic visit to the gardens mm -hmm. to enjoy the collections as well as just connecting with people culturally at our events we have lots of different things that we bring to the garden for people to enjoy yeah. wonderful so can you tell me outside of the flower piano i know that's that's a September thing that goes on. Um, what else do you guys have to offer? Are there any other events coming up that... Every every couple months we have a large yeah. community event. So I would say the next thing to look for after Flower Piano is our holiday uh, mm. festival. We have a gift buying market called Gifts in the Garden uh, alongside a very popular wreath making uh, activity and workshop that we offer for people. So you can make your own handcrafted locally grown wreath to bring home and decorate on your door. But Flower Piano really is our keystone event people should come right out to it. Um, we have an amazing new feature this year called the Flower Piano Lounge. It's in our second Ooh. year. 
here. So if you want a pro tip from me, mm -hmm. you would definitely get a ticket to the lounge. Uh, ticket okay. prices range from $25 to $45. They get you expedited entry, and with ah. 70,000 people visiting over those 10 days, if not more, it gets you um, right into the festival in the heart of it. But within the lounge, you get craft cocktails, local food makers, and a private concert of your choice, Friday, wow. Saturday, or Sunday. Okay, yeah. so it's like a VIP at the Gardens. Absolutely. I love to hear that. Yeah. Um, what is your favorite part about the flower piano? It sounds like there's so many different pieces. There's community involvement. Do you have a favorite? Uh, we have so many community partners. We're working with the SF Ballet. We're wow. working with the, uh, the symphony. Uh, we offer all kinds of programs for people of all ages. I'm super mm. excited for our family programs this year. Kids can come to the SF Ballet on Friday the 13th and actually dance with SF Ballet wow. staff uh, and hear the uh, musicians in the evening. It's just a really fun program. And during the weekends, it's uh, a little crowded. So if you like it more slower paced, come during the weekdays. But we've got something for everybody, including a flower piano fashion show this year on Saturday wow. the 20th and a marionette show. And we've got a roving puppet that even plays a piano on the weekends. You guys have everything there. It's <laughs> yeah. so fun for all members of the family. We love to hear it. Um, if people are watching today, they want to get tickets. How can they do that? They should definitely visit us online at ggp.org slash flower piano and you can find the full program and purchase tickets there. Um, the general festival is always free with admission for SF residents, veterans, people who are applicable for museums for all. Uh, but other than that, general admission is only $20 or less usually. Wow, yeah. perfect. All right. I love it. Thank you so much for coming. Yeah, we'll thank you for Go. having me.